Hello and welcome to Saturday. It's uh, been a fun day. Uh, so let's let's talk about all that's happened today. So there's a couple of things. One, um, I finally finished that spaghetti. I think I was the only one eating it, and it's been my like sole source of uh, sustenance for the past couple of days. So that's been fun. Um, but now I get to eat real food starting tomorrow. So that's gonna be ideal, but we've still got to clear out a bunch of other food, so that's that's all sorted. Um, I also released a blog post on a different blog, um, one that I was talking about a couple days ago. Um, not the music blog and not the photo portfolio, but there's a third link down there right, bef right below the other one that says links, the one that says dot blog. There's a post there about, uh, ephemerality and I might talk about that one of these days but I just I'm having fun with that blog and I'm figuring why not have some fun and post things there um so yeah that's that's a whole thing but uh the big takeaway today is that I ended up beating Pokemon Ruby but I also ended up beating Pokemon Sapphire this card is scuffed <laughs> but we're still able to play it, so that's fine. But yeah, um, I beat these two games. I beat the first mainline Gen 3 games today, and that's fun. Um, so the, the way I've been doing this in Ruby specifically is that I've been catching every single Pokemon that you possibly can, fully evolving them, and then um, going about the game with the exception that I did not catch any legendaries along the way, meaning that Groudon, Regirock, Registeel, um, and Regice are, uh, and Rayquaza were kind of off the table, as well as Latios, which is post-game, but this game has a very poor post-game, meaning that the only thing that you're able to catch would be Latios, and I believe Beldum, and the Metagross line, and I didn't end up doing that, I didn't touch the post game because you know i beat this and then i'm like hmm how quickly could i beat sapphire so uh booted this up in my good old computer again i have the physical cartridges i can rip the rom so nothing illegal nothing sketchy um booted this up on the computer uh held down the turbo uh function and just breathe through the game it took an hour and 40 minutes i believe the in-game clock said like six hours and 45 minutes or something along those lines so less than seven hours to beat the game um i did technically uh well like i traded over the hm users so i had atropius and a waylord that just had all hms and didn't even just stop just like okay beat this gym Where's the next one? Run there, beat every trainer along the way to level up my Sceptile, and just keep going until the end of the game. And I got there with no issue. Um, the only th time I had issues was with uh, Steven's uh, Metagross, which resisted everything my Sceptile had. But that's fine, because we managed to get through uh, with just a bunch of full restores that I stocked up on. So yeah, that was, that was very fun. Um, the, I didn't catch a single Pokemon, um, other than, like, what, it was, like, a Poochiena and then maybe, t <laughs> what, uh, yeah, two Poochienas, I think that was it, um, yeah, that was it, two Poochienas traded them over for the Waylord MV, um, what do you call it, the other one, Tropius, and just, that was it, beat the game. Very fun. Um, the reason I did this because um, there are version exclusives. There are very few, like um, Saviper Zangus. Um, what is it? It's like Sableye, and then there's like um, there's another like ghostly type Pokemon. Um, there's the Lotad and C Dot lines, and uh, Latios, Latias, obviously Kyogre, Groudon, obviously. Um, there's like a couple like that, but, um, I think Surskit might be one, and then like Surskit Masquerain, and then something else, but those are the only few that, uh, I figured out were, um, 
kind of, you know, a little bit odd. So I'm like, okay, let's beat this game and then let's speed run this one. We'll catch everything after in the post game and then just, you know, put them all on my, on one cartridge, um, clone the boxes because I can do that through uh, save editing or I could just do that. Technically, I can do that through Emerald, but that takes quite a bit of time. It's, it's, there's a whole bunch of glitches in Emerald that you can just like copy the same Pokemon like six times over. Um, I also have actual hardware that can save state and like revert the save. So that's, you know, it's totally doable, but like I would love to have complete living dexes on these Pokemon, on these games. And because this game is like a complete cartridge of um, Gen 3, other than a few exceptions, and my copy of Fire Red is right over there, which I beat fully. Um, I think I've caught literally every single Pokemon except, uh, again, legendaries in that one. But because of events that I re-enabled on that since on that cartridge, I have all of them in the decks, so I can just trade over everything from here to there, and I can have everything except for a few Johto Pokemon, which leads me into something that I was doing yesterday might have been yesterday, might, might have been two days ago, was that I started playing Pokemon Coliseum too. Um, been having fun with that. Um, I Did I mention that I beat Platinum? I feel like I did. Um, no, I didn't. <laughs> I was going to save that for a whole other video. But yeah, I actually beat uh, Pokemon Platinum um, only a couple days ago. And it, what was that? It was like, again, like, Wednesday, Thursday night, and the day after, I was like, okay, let's start start of Coliseum and that's how we got there and it's been just so much it's been a unique experience going through that I, I'm only like a couple hours in um so we're still plowing through that and uh it's a relatively short game from what I'm aware but you can catch everything that's missing um in this game and then fire red and emerald and like I'll have literally everything and accomplish one childhood dream and then we'll just take it uh, generation by generation as soon as all of these are done and completed um i'd love to have a living dex in all of these games and I, I can i make i will make that work it'll be incredible and then from there we will transfer them all up to platinum um which i need to start doing because you can only do six at it six per day and that's a bit extreme but um i can catch everything in like uh Heart Gold Soul Silver, as well as, um, what do you call this game? Uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum. And then we'll move on to Black and White and Black and White 2, and then we'll just keep going. Gen 6, Oros, will move up. And I, all of my Gen 5, Gen 6 saves are intact, so I can continue with that. The thing is, um, I played, like, halfway through, like, I'm, I'm, I got to the post game in Sun, and then, um, in, what do you call it? I didn't touch Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, so I'll work my way through that. And then once we're done there, we'll finally have everything completed. Hopefully I can do this before April, but I'm I'm really excited and I'm almost there, so looking forward to uh, grinding through that. So yeah, uh, <laughs> managed to beat three Pokemon games this week and uh, it's been fun. Hopefully uh, this train won't stop and I can beat Colosseum in a couple days and then we'll do XD Gale of Darkness and then we'll go from there. It's going to be a bit of a longer journey, but, you know, in order to be a Pokemon Master, you got to catch them all. So we're slowly, slowly working towards that and it's a lot of fun doing it. So that's what I'm going to call it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow, and until then, later.